So part of your job was to model excellence in a way, and model uh, absolutely. Policy, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, one of the first things that we did was I said we've got to have a um, a cause. Now businesses have mission statements, don't mean a thing. Um, it had to be emotional, and the cause that I wrote was our duty was to inspire the nation, so that all the people who maybe don't like rugby don't like, it, which is fine. I haven't got a problem. But nevertheless, when we win this thing, they'll tell us they remember where they were mm. and who they were with when we won the World Cup. So I said that means that all our behaviours, all the work ethic, everything has got to say I'm, I'm participating in inspiring the nation. And it's no coincidence that Seb Co for the Olympics, guess what, he, he pinched it and he said uh, was to inspire a generation. Mm. Uh, and that's... And the second thing I said to them, it's a game of inches. And here again, if you take David Brailsford of the cycling, he calls it marginal gains. But actually, I called it a game of inches, which I'd learnt from yeah, somebody I love else. the metaphor, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, because it's achievable, isn't it? Mm. You talk to a 15-year-old child who's worrying about A-levels, you just say, look, just do a little bit more tomorrow than you did today. Mm. You can you can read a book in the holidays, can't you? Another one? Yeah, well, crack that one. Don't worry about that, you'll be all right. But just think of the inches that you're going to bring to your own personal performance. And you add that lot together, you're going to be fine. Mm. Uh, so that's, and I think that's what I found. Winners don't do different things, they just do things differently. Mm. So they're, they're not some miracle way, they just understand um, to find out, you know, what, where, how, where are the inches that are going to apply to them creating world class performance. So it's a great success. Guys won the World Cup. It was, yeah. yes, it was. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I know it was. A, it's a fairy tale. I, I, well, I'll tell you about the game of inches. We won by thirty-five seconds in extra time. So don't ever tell me winning doesn't matter. Because <laughs> if you did, if it didn't, why'd you keep the score? <laughs> and, but can you imagine the nightmare scenario of um, coming thirty-six hours back on a plane, having lost by thirty-five seconds mm. in extra time? Mm. And I would never get another opportunity in my lifetime to do something for my country, never. And I've got to live with that for the rest of my life and tell my grandchildren, well, we, we got to the final, but we didn't win it, you know. It's just, I just, that's my worst nightmare. I know most of the Australian players very well. They'll live with that for the rest of their lives. Mm. Why did the Poms beat us? I love the Australians. I think their attitude, I love all the sudden their attitude, their attitude's fantastic. But it's very, very nice to beat them. <laughs> 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 and they were very gracious, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, no, so I learnt a lot about graciousness and defeat too, which mm. um, is interesting. 